I thought I'd do a quick video walkthrough while I was here at the property so I can send it to you if you'd like. I'm going to start with the residence. I'm looking out to the southeast over the meadow part of the property. It goes back into those woods uh, a couple hundred more feet. You can kind of see the wind turbine between the trees there in the back. Right there. Um, here's the garages and shop. I'll try to remember to measure the roof there, but I think it's high enough. We've got the deck out here and the entry into the home. So here's the great room area. Kitchen, of course. Come over here, turn back that way, and down the hall, little built-in bookshelf there, to the right, one of the three bedrooms, medium size, pantry, or coat closet here, broom closet. And to the left, the bathroom. The standard. This was built in 1959, so the year I was born. So it must have been a good year. Some built-ins over here. Sorry for the jerky movements. And bedroom number two is a little bit bigger. Quite a bit bigger, actually. Nice size bedroom. The biggest of the three. And back in the hall, we got some built-ins and the bath and another closet, deep pantry type closet. And to the left, we have the laundry area. Got some storage over that way. And then with it is Another room here, about eight by eight. Could be a little part of the laundry room, could be a little dining area, I don't know. And then the third bedroom up here is the second largest. And these closet doors there in this one. And then at the end, there's a lockable door, so you can make this part of upstairs or not, but stairs down to the lower area. So if you're operating one of the retail spaces, this end one, you can make it part of this residential unit above, or you can separate it out. This is an exterior door right here. And then I'm gonna come into the end unit right here. So this one used to be the hair salon. This is uh, I don't know the dimensions actually 20 by 25. Good sized room. And then it also has access to um, additional spaces back here. There's a hot water tank. They used to have a hair washing sink here, a utility sink. And then also in this unit is a toilet, but not a sink. Could be made into a bathroom, I suppose. And then another part of this rental space was this room back here, which was, I think, a nail salon. This is an exterior door right there. There's kind of storage space there. And then this is the door that connects all three units to the half bathroom. So there's another water tank here. Utility sink here, a lot more storage over here. And then there's the half bath down here that the three different units have access to. And then this is a door going into same unit as this door. This goes into the middle unit, which are in the process of putting the vinyl planking down on the floor. There's some space back here, kind of an L shape. Some pegboard on this wall. And 
the door to metal unit. And then coming back into the cross area, you get into the south unit, which is the largest and has the um, planking wood floor recently put in place. It's the biggest of the three units. Got a lot more windows here because it's on this end and up to the front. Front. Highway 105, so good frontage for retail. And parking across the street for what you can't see, which is a local bar and grill right there behind that Cisco truck. And the front of the building, 